What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. Today's video starts off with a little vulnerability. If you've listened to 0.1 seconds of any of my tutorials, you know I use a lot of filler words ums, likes, so's, ands, a ton of them. I have no good reason for it, only poor excuses. It could make my tutorial sound a lot better if I were able to remove all of those filler words and sounds and unnecessary pauses from my videos. Well, Adobe Premiere Pro has made this a lot easier. It's been around for a while, but I haven't started playing around with it until I started making GB Studio tutorials. And I was going back and editing them, trying to make them shorter and more to the point. I noticed, and I've known for a long time, but I really noticed, man, I'm saying uh, likes, all those kind of things a lot of times in this. I need to cut those out. And I thought to myself, you know, Adobe Premiere Pro does have this feature. I just need to take a few seconds to practice it and to play around with it and to see if it'll work with my videos. And it did. So I want to show you the same tool and how easy it is in case you want to try this with your projects. I have one of my GB Studio tutorials right here. I'll click and drag it in there. All I need to do is go up here to the top and go to Window and then find where it says Text. Now you'll notice on here it says this hasn't been transcribed and I'm up here in the Transcript tab at the top. When this is selected, the video you have on there, in order to transcribe it, just click the blue button. and here we have a transcript of everything from that tutorial video. How crazy is that? There's a lot of applications that could be used for that. There's a three dot button up here in the upper right hand side of this text panel. I can make captions from it. You can export and import. You can change the spelling because sometimes it thinks you said one thing, but you actually said another. All those. But the one I wanted to show you today is how to find and remove these filler words. Up here, there is this little button right here. I'm going to click on that, and it's showing text. You'll notice it also has options for pauses, speakers, there's search settings. I'll find the one that says filler words. And when I click on that, down here it says filler, filler. Filler, filler, filler. I told you I have a problem with it, and it's something I'm working on. Maybe not working on it by trying to improve it, but I'm working on it by finding ways to have Adobe Premiere Pro fix it for me. I'll click down here, and when I select this in the text, sure enough, it moves our little blue progress bar to the spot in the timeline where that is at. Let's push the play button to show you these things. Uh, once we have those in, did you hear that right there? It said, uh, once we have those in there, I want to remove that out of there. In order to do that, all I have to do is find where it says delete. And then this will show you one of 21 results, 21 filler words. I actually thought it would be more in there than that, to be honest. You can scroll down through those different ones, but you can delete them all. I wouldn't do that because typically, even though it does take a little more time to listen to all those options, sometimes it is a necessary filler. I think there can be necessary fillers. I'll click this delete button to remove the first one that I don't want, and it takes it out of there. Here's another one. Let's click here and hear what it says. Change uh, because. All right, change uh, because. I'll click delete on that one. And you'll notice it's no longer in that area. And if you see what's going on down here in the timeline, it's manually chopping that out of there. Change because our flag is just going to be stationary. The tree is going to be stationary. Sounds really, the tutorial that I'm showing you, it's actually a lot better than what it sounds just with that little clip. Just take my word for it or go and check it out yourself. But you can see where all those are being removed out of there. Let's say we did manually take the time to go through and remove all those. I'll just use delete all up here just to show you. Then down here, 
you have all of those clips trimmed up and fixed. So when you go back and you listen to that tutorial, it's all out of there. Then you can export it and you have a nice sounding tutorial video or any kind of video that you're trying to make. Again, you can go there and you can find pauses. You can change many different things in those settings. It just takes a fraction of the time as what it would normally do to go through and to manually fix all those parts of your videos. To me, this is really mind blowing and kind of game changing for these videos. I know I don't always use it, but there are times when I'm going back and I think this one needs cleaned up a little bit. And this is a great tool for that. So I plan to use it more and more going forward, trying to make my tutorial videos a little better for the audience, for all of your sake out there. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Let me know if you've used any of these tools in a better way and share it with the community below down also. Love to hear that. And again, thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll catch you on another tutorial video.